What's going on guys, PSV here and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing ETS2 and we're back with another mod review. That sounded quite catchy. <laughs> so guys, we're going to be reviewing the man TGS today. Um, it's actually obviously a man truck. One that we haven't done on the channel yet. So let's just start this up. Close that down. Inside, it's quite a nice little truck, standard. I quite like it, but you know, guys, we don't like standard trucks. So let's head over to here and see what uh, customizations we can do. So let's go on to the upgrade shop and see what we can do. So within this mod, you get the ML and LX uh, chassis, so um, or cabins. Sorry, cabins. Proves I haven't done this in quite a while. So this little warning at the bottom there, as you see, it's just actually telling you that the paint will go back to default and all this malarkey. But we'll deal with the paint jobs at the end. So I'm going to stick with that one. So in the chassis here, we have from the uh, 4x2 all the way down to the um, 8x4 heavy. So there's like a, quite a lot of different chassis you're going to gonna go. So I'm going to go with the Hydro Drive. I'm going to go 6x6 because I quite like that. Um, I think that just looks a bit too ridiculous but you know and also with the different chassis you kind of get a different like sort of front grille um like bumper and grills and stuff so you get more grills there it's quite cool so i'm going to go into the engines so the engines um vary from a 320 brake horsepower all the way down to 680 that is pulling at um, 3000 newton meters so obviously that's all your torque and stuff so I think the 360 is a bit too little, but I don't want too much. So I'm going to go for the 480. I think that's quite a nice amount. It will make them heavier tra uh, trailers a lot more difficult, but it won't put it to uh, impossible and will drive you insane. Transmission. So we only have two sort of transmissions. You've got obviously the uh, 12 speed or 12 speed R. I'm just going to keep it with that. Obviously, if you do have a bigger engine, you should meant to put on a different transmission. But I'm just, for the sake of this mod review, I'm going to keep it basic. So I find this is where it lets the mod down a little bit. Um, you haven't really got much choice. Obviously, you can have it. You can change whatever side you want. So I'm gonna have it on the. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go for a left hand, uh, right hand drive. Make it more at home for me. But you can't. You can just have a different sort of color dash. It just sort of changes the texture. It's got this woodeny sort of texture. I'm not a great fan of that. I prefer the grey. But that's just what I like. But yeah, guys, um, that kind of lets the mod down a little bit. I think it could do a few more adjustments on the inside, as in like different steering wheels, stuff like that, just to jazz it up a little bit. Obviously, we have got the accessories, but we'll come across that soon. Paint job, we're going to skip out because we're going to go into the separate paint market and sort that out. So we're going to go into accessories. I'm not going to go crazy on this. As you see, there's quite a lot of dots to cover. I'm going to just go through as many as I can, but I'm not going to go crazy into every single detail. To start off with the mirrors, obviously we've got plastic, uh, painted chrome, full paint, so we can either have it all that, have it chrome, have it plastic, obviously it does all blend in, but obviously it's more of a plastic look to it, what I quite like, I'm going to go for that one, uh, where are we going to go next, we're going to go to this one here, so you can obviously have the stock, but you can have it stock like that, so you've got obviously your uh, sun visor, you can either have it matching colours, or you can have it the stock, but obviously like a black colour, also you can add all these little groovy lights, Cross onto them if you want to. So we'll keep it like that. So if we click this slot, so if we have here, we have all different. So we can add like your roars. We add two little roars. Oh, roars there. You can add obviously like your beacons, etc., etc. But obviously, guys, that is entirely up to you how you customize that. This is basically more dots for you to add obviously the accessories that you want i'm not going to go through all of them because there's no new ones they're all the same just obviously you can have more than one on there so that looks like it's in the inside we'll deal with that in a second oh okay i might take back what i said about the inside it has seemed to add quite a lot of detail on the inside so if we go here we can have the curtains so you can either have the Folded curtains like that, or the ones that are shut. But I'm going to have the uh, folded ones, because I think it looks a bit more presentable than it just flopping down. I don't really like them just falling down. So here we go. This is <laughs> this is what I like. 
So you can have the man like that, or you can have the man like that. I'm going to have a small one because I like the way the lights fit across there. And you can also add and light it up like a Christmas tree. I'm not going to add hundreds of lights because that would just drone on a little bit. What I am going to add, though, is I think I'm going to go for a middle one. And I'm going to go to... Mm, I was going to put some lights down here, but they haven't got the ones that I want. So, yeah, like I say, you can add hundreds of different lights to this. So you can light it up like a bloody Christmas tree, but... In this mod review, I'm not going to be lighting it up because it ain't Christmas yet. But you wait till Christmas, guys. We'll light that up. So going by what I was saying, you can light it up like a Christmas tree. This is what I mean. We've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different buttons where you can add different lights to it. What I do like is the idea is that you can have one of these, uh, the chrome lights there and there. I think that adds quite a nice touch to it. That's my opinion, but um, obviously everyone's entitled to their own opinion and stuff like that. But that's what I quite like. <laughs> so you might like this sort of feature. So depending wherever you're from, so you can have whatever you like. I'm Great Britain, so I'm going to add that there. You can add like your little sort of plate to it sort of thing. You know, you can add your own little feature. Well, uh, yes, it's okay sort of thing. As you can see there, it looks okay. But to me, that's not really my cup of tea. So I'm not going to have that on my truck. So if you light up the truck, you can actually see that it does light up quite a bit. And imagine if you had all them dots covered in lights. I think you would need to go spec savers after. So we can add the front fogs or you can have it covered. I quite like the fogs. I think it adds that extra feel to it. I quite like that. I think it look, makes it look more compact. But then people like it standard and have just the trimming. But again, it's all up to your own choice. So here we can change the uh, bumper colour, you can have it obviously all matching, you can have the bumper different but with, like the wing sort of another colour, you can have it all one colour, you know, but I like it all colour coded, I'm a bit fussy like that and I think that looks perfect. So the painted handles, you can have painted, you can have them chrome, I'm going to go for chrome ones just because I think it will just stand out that little bit extra and I quite like how they stand that out. So you can have side curtains, you can have the curtains going at the side as well. Well, I think if we've got them at the back, might as well have them at the side. But I'm going to have, obviously, then give you one option where the other ones, you could have folded ones. But no, um, or hanging ones. But no, I'm going to go just for the normal ones that they have. So the wheels, you haven't really got much more of a choice with the wheels. I don't really see them much better. Apart from you can obviously add the man hub to it and stuff like that. But to be honest, guys, that's nothing really new with the mod i quite like how you can adjust the nuts and bolts so that is pretty epic so you you can change all your steps but that's just minor features so this is where it happens so we can see obviously you're ranging from a roof spoiler all the way down to the painted side ones i like big and beefy trucks so that would be my cup of tea i've got ooh, what one do we go for i think Go for the second from biggest. Okay, so here we go. Yes, that's fine. So, this is what I want to show you guys. Sorry, I just had to reread that. I have, When I'm doing these mod reviews, I have already tried out everything, so I know sort of briefly what I'm talking about. But I just needed... I didn't remember that flashing up before. So, this is something different. So, you can have also the oil coiling system on the back, so you can actually see that all running what's quite nice i think that is quite cool it's totally different but obviously what you need to take in consideration is that you can't have that big chassis or like the big spoiler bit sorry um if you want one of these so i'm gonna have that and there is one thing i want to put to the test and we'll try that out very shortly so general you know normal malarkey you can obviously change all like your covers make it all blend in and stuff like that. And obviously you can add like your bits to the back. Like your, you know. Just the general stuff that you get. I will just put it out there. If I'm mumbling a little bit. I do apologise. You know guys how long I haven't done a mod review for. So <laughs> this is a learning curve for me again. So jump on the interior. So you can have also your sat nav. I love having the sat nav. It makes that just feel a little bit more realistic. Obviously you can have a wooden tray. And you can add features onto it. But I did notice I was just checking. It says you can add features onto it, but it doesn't give you no features at all to actually click on. 
what obviously is a bit poor because they give you this table to choose from yet you can't put anything on it I did notice that before so I'm not gonna have the table because what's the point on the table if you can't use it so again guys as normal you can obviously adjust some of the settings that you can on the inside and stuff like that don't forget about this hidden dot right here you can click that you can add the different texture carpets behind you if you're whatever you're into so I quite like that one so let's have a look to see what this is so this is what we've made it out it does look a bit tacky with this massive oil cooling system on the back but I want this to be different and I want this to kind of have that feel for you and I quite like some little features that it does have if you look at that cloth you can see it now all bedded up so I'll say that was like their uh, bed cover and they've just chucked it over so guys, I'm going to jump out of the truck and I'm going to, um, or jump out of this page and we'll take the truck and have a proper good look at it. So here we are guys, we are outside on this, with the sun bloody blinding us. Let's start this beast up. Nice lovely roaring engine, does sound really, really nice. Let's just put these lights on so it'll light. Obviously if you press F4 you can add obviously all your other lights and stuff like that if you wish for them to be on right this is what I did want to check alright oh, it's actually got a fan in it I thought this bit here at the very top I thought it would have a fan it would be, it'd be a very very neat idea if they allowed you to uh, make the fan rotate while you're doing it that would be a really really cool feature so what we're going to do we're going to pick up a uh, job and we're just gonna see how it pulls and then I'll give it a rating and then we'll wrap the video up so guys we've picked up a trailer it's quite a heavy trailer it's like nearly 30 tons it could be heavier but just remember we're putting this to the test so I'll tell you what this has got some speed in it and I can't see having the trouble pulling nearly a 30 ton trailer so let's see how it goes so we're now in third fifth seventh it's pulling like a dream guys it is really really pulling like a dream let's see how we get out of here what's the speed of it oh easy piece of piss as they say piece of piss absolute easy peasy so i'm gonna give this mod i'm gonna go all out and give it an eight out of ten that is quite a high rating. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. The reason I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 is just some of the features. They've, they've, they've done a little bit wrong. Like, for example, that table. You said you can put items on there. Well, where are my items for a starter? But apart from that, guys, I think it's a brilliant mod. It's a bit... <laughs> you don't really see this massive thing on the back of a normal lorry. But if you want to be a bit different, and you want to make the game a bit more fun then this is the mod for you. So guys, the link will be down in the description. Please be, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers, guys.